All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to CatCast episode number 785. I'm your host, GBD, here in Long Island, New York. And as always, we're joined by a man who's also releasing an unnecessary podcast, Wombat. Yeah, but I've been doing it longer. Right. It's not a special edition. It's always been, an, it's been unnecessary for, since 2005. That's crazy, by the way. 2005. Right. Yep. Yeah. Wow. Yes. <laughs> Almost as crazy as that podcast that Microsoft released today. I mean... We'll talk about it later, dumb. though. We'll it was get, pretty we'll dumb. It, we can all it agree. was pretty dumb. We'll, we can, we'll get to it. I think we can all agree the situation was pretty dumb mm -hmm. and handled pretty dumbly. Is that a word? Handled, handled poorly, I guess. Dumbly, I, I think, is Dumbly the, is correct. Dumbly. dumbly. Thank you. Thank dumbly. you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, anything exciting going on that I need to know about before you we get what? into it? One thing I need to do, and I want to just thank Shipwreck publicly for sharing mm -hmm. his story in October about his external sewage pipe situation and being able to take his story and use it in my life in a way that benefited me. So thank you, Shipwreck, for... Now, now are you talking about a sewage pipe or a main water? Pipe? I, well, I have, I got both. For those who don't know, I, I after, after the last show, I talked about how I had uh, flooding in the basement. And I had them come and and clear the pipe. And the pipe for me that was that was clogged was the main was the main sewer line that goes from the house out oh, to that, the. That seems bad. Checks out. Yep. And that was duties. unclogged, but they come. They came like a day later, and they put a camera in there. And that the was like was like oh yeah, you got to do the whole excavation and have the pipe removed. Something that I know Shipwreck is very familiar with. And they gave me like how much it's going to cost. Now, after Shipwreck told his story, I went and I looked up how much does it cost to get the insurance on those pipes. And I did get the insurance for the main water line and for the sewage line. So And it paid off? It paid it off. off. It paid Quickly. off. It it paid off in spades, but they do. First, I had to call them. I had to call the the insurance company, and I was like, "This is what's going on." And they're like, "We'll send our own guy out. He'll do it. He'll he'll run his camera, and we'll verify what they saw." So they had the guy come out, and again, none. Of, now we're at like I'm going straight through the insurance company. The guys come, they run the camera, they tell me like, you know, we looked at it. We don't think you need your pipe replaced at all. Of course not. You just have <laughs> you just have you just have roots. You may need a power wash. I'm like, all right. And then I wait, and two days later, I get a call from the insurance company, and they're like, yeah, uh, yeah we want to send in someone else to take another look. So now I'm getting my third opinion. I don't have to do anything except talk to one person who's calling me. I'm not even calling them anymore. They come. That third guy comes. He runs the camera. He goes, yeah, it's probably just the roots. I'm going to do a power wash right now. And I'm like, well, how much does that cost? And he goes, no, it's all covered by the insurance. Hmm. So he did the power wash. And he's like, look, there's a chance that maybe within the next year, this may get clogged again because you're still growing roots. But I don't think you need a new pipe. If it happens again, just call, call the insurance company. They'll send someone right over. They'll do another power wash and you should be fine. Or, and we'll kill the tree. Yeah. Or, or remove the tree, and that might be expensive and not covered, but at least at least that's why, you know, the low you're long... currently sitting sitting at now? Just yeah. Power wash mm -hmm. pipes? Power, you power, power wash, wash the pipes? Power wash the pipes. That's all they said I needed. And we're done. Oh, I, I don't... Um, okay. You don't believe it. Shift doesn't believe, believe it. He thinks they're trying to save money. <laughs> they, power, they only power wash the outside of the pipes, too, which was weird. Yeah. Well, if it gets clogged again, I just have to call... I'll call them. They'll send someone. I'll be like, look, this is now it got clogged X amount of times in this amount of time. I think we need to deal with this. But the long story <laughs> short is I don't have to pay for it. Right. That's, and that's the key takeaway. That, that's and good. problem yeah. solved. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have to pay for it. And that's the most important thing. And I can use my, you know, plumbing again. Did you talk to the guy about power wash simulator or anything? <laughs> <laughs> like, I feel like he really would like to hear. If you I'm were just sure. standing there, just like talking about power wash simulator. Did, did he yeah, power wash your sidewalk on the way out? Yeah, uh, he did not. No. But yeah. But anyway, that's the where we are with the plumbing situation from last week. But I did want to thank Shipwreck because after his story, I was inspired, we'll say, to get 
that extra insurance. And I will say that if you do not have that extra insurance, it's worth looking into. It is very inexpensive. Pipe protecting protection. The pipe is protection it? is definitely worth. I spend seventeen dollars a month on it. On your pipe protection plan. On my pipe protection plan. I mean that that probably is a pretty good idea for you because you're. When was your house built? It's my house was built in 1952. Some old pipes. Yep, my house is one uh, is one of the original developed suburban houses. developments. One yeah, of the original houses. It's li- it pipes. literally is. <laughs> you know, the first pipe ever of, was used in that house. It's it's part of the first set of houses built after Levitt Town. Have you heard of the Roman Empire? Yeah, that's what my house is built. <laughs> It has aqueducts, actually. There's no pipe. My, ho- my house is so old, it's ghosts have ghosts. <laughs> ghosts. Aqueducts, you wouldn't have this problem. They're right there on top, right? Right. I mean, Get right to it. E- easy access. Let's pull yep. those t- roots right out. Right. Yeah. So, there you go. That's my story. I thought it was a good story. It's pretty good. Yeah, paid off. Bad. Listening to shipwrecks, yeah. uh, plights, paid off. Big time. Yep. Yeah. I, we- I take a, I, Yeah, you know. It's one thing to learn from my own mistakes, but it's something else to learn from others. Well, I don't know. I didn't make any mistakes. <laughs> I it's know, just, I'm teasing. It's a joke. I don't think I could even have gotten insurance on this because they would have come out and saw the pipe, <laughs> the blue pex or whatever, uh, blue max, blue max, mm-hmm. and and would have gotten like, nope, you're screwed. Yeah, we can't, maybe we can't power wash that. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yep. All right. Should yeah. we do some show feedback? Yeah. We'll start with this, even though I know we're going to get to this later. But Corvin had God, to say, "I love this. this. Is one of my favorite things ever. This is, there's a lesson to be learned here for everybody, which we'll get to at the end of this. So pay attention uh, closely." Looking forward to CADCast 784. First of all, this is CADCast 785, but that's neither here nor there. We're looking forward to CADCast 784, the one where the gang eats crow. After the Activision Blizzard acquisition by Microsoft, the gang spent the better part of a year castigating gamers, speculating that Microsoft would bring games to bring games slash Game Pass to multiple systems because Game Pass doesn't buy companies to release their games on other platforms. Microsoft. There should be lots of what you said, Game Pass, but it says Microsoft. Microsoft. Anyway, I'm sorry. Uh, it's, uh, whatever. <laughs> there should be lots of crow being eaten. Instead, we'll likely get lots of backpedaling and gaslighting. Should be entertaining either way. So Corvin assumed that this big announcement was going to be something very different than it was by, from what I can gather here. And there was more, I feel like there was more to this post because I remember the post being very long when I saw it and just thinking this is an abnormally long post just to begin with. And now he's using a lot of it just to like make fun of us. There was some other, there was a second half where he talked about like me. Some other bullshit. Yeah. Oh, that okay. wasn't, Unrelated it bullshit. Wasn't, exactly. It wasn't related to the, to this. Right. So my, so. my point is don't write long posts about something unless you're sure of the outcome. Exactly. <laughs> and you were not sure of the outcome and you were wrong. They are not bringing Activision, Blizzard games or Game Pass to multiple systems. So. Mm. So eat that crow. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. Oh. Yeah. We're bringing some things, right? Are we talking about that now or are we just going to keep on delaying that? No, we're going to keep on delaying it because okay. it's more fun. Perfect. I like mm-hmm. I like this plan. Right. I know you do. He said it should be entertaining either way and this is how yep. we're going to make it entertaining. We're going to keep we're going to delay it until we get to it. But yeah, I I mean, I'm like not eating any Xbox, crow. We're just going to delay it. Right. Yeah. No crow in I, my dinner. No crow in my dinner tonight. So suck it. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Suck my crow. Uh, what else? Sinful Fate has to say the problem with these recent live service games is that the devs don't understand that live service games are essentially MMOs. One of the most important aspects of MMOs is letting the player create their own character. The devs behind DC Universe Online understood this, and that game is 13 years old and still popular enough to be to where it received a major update in October 2023. A modern version of that game would be incredible. I actually can't believe that that game is still active. I get the occasional like PR email about it. <laughs> uh huh. That that's still. It, I guess it still has an audience, which is kind of crazy. But I only th- thought this comment was. Uh, um, worth mentioning applicable yeah. because the games that are being brought over to 
Sony to the PS5 and I guess the Switch as well from Xbox, two of them, two of the rumored games, actually do fit into this category. You know, with uh, Grounded and Sea of Thieves and why it makes sense to move those games over. Not, not only does it benefit, you know, obviously Microsoft and Sony and all those people by selling more copies of that game, but by keeping those games alive, the people that are currently playing it within that Microsoft ecosystem will spend more money. And that's why it makes sense to move those games to other platforms. And he's right Perfect. about his point, I think, about yeah. creating your own character in a live service game. I mean, all these ones that, I mean, the few that were successful, you know, Destiny, you, mm -hmm. made, you know, that was your own dude. You had to earn the helmet and you had to like, you know, that was your guy. And in these other ones, like you're playing as Captain America. Even if you put a different shirt on Captain America, still Captain I, America. I, I did. <laughs> you did, and he was still Captain many, America, many right? different shirts on Captain America. But he was yeah. always Captain America at the end of the day. I don't know. You could pretend that he was... Shipwrecks the, Captain America? The, Captain America of Ohio? You make, Captain, if, yeah. I, I think if the, if the Avengers game, and I talked about this when that game came out, if the gear that you collected was cosmetic... And you could have a Captain America that looked like your unique Captain America with, with like your face on him. No, like oh, the like mismatch gear, like yeah. the pants and the shirt the power and the helmet. Connect, you can have your face on him. Yeah, they do it through cell phones now. They don't even need that shit. Remember, like the I think the NBA games do that. NBA two K games. Mm -hmm. Scan your shit in there with your phone. I did that. It was horrible. I'm yeah. good. Yeah, I don't. I need still that. get upset when I get those QR codes and I. So like put in codes for games or whatever yeah like you get the dlc or or whatever and you're just like oh this was so much better when i just held up to the connect and then it, that was the best in. we that, that's that the key feature good. yeah we need that on playstation uh, 6 please and xbox whatever um yeah i like sin sinful at uh, point there sinful eight. sinful sure. fate I sinful fate oh i thought it was like a nose spray no, sinful fit. Yeah, it takes right. a little while to, to get it right. <laughs> I know, I understand. I will say this, you you are right, Ed, but I will say Fortnite does not do that, and it's doing just fine. It does kind of But that. it does kind of that. I was going to say that too, but I didn't want to be too presumptuous. Because you, know, you don't have to be those, to... those characters that people know, and you can take those like fucking yeah, banana you're... guy. And... Yeah, well, you can't take him. Oh. But uh, <laughs> they locked him away. Oh, okay. Um, never, never to be seen again until sales <laughs> go down, and then they needed a, a surge of money, and then out comes Banana Guy. That um, would be that would be a big deal. <laughs> uh, Sadly, that would be a big right. deal. But no, uh, the yeah. the ability to like customize. Cate yeah, you have like yeah. eight categories of customization, or however many it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's enough, I guess. Sure. Like, oh, look, there's Captain America with the uh, rocket raccoon on his back and Thor's hammer. That's weird. That's right. your customized character in a way. Or Captain America with the rocket raccoon's legs would be good. I, I guess that would be weird. I feel like we have the technology time. to make that. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, but somebody does. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, what else? Uh, this was the thing that people complained the most about, about last show. This is from <laughs> Meteor1522. <laughs> I like that you have to say complain the most about it because they no. complained about other shit too. Good, right. good, good. They did, but this right. is what they complained the most about. Mm. Wombat completely missed the point. Microsoft might, at least he did course correct with might, Microsoft might bring their games to Sony is because there aren't enough Xbox consoles sold to justify competing with Sony anymore. PS5 is outselling Xbox 3 to 1. That basically means the console war of this generation is over and PS5 has already won. Now they're they're I mean, really they're still there's still enough to justify competing like they're mm -hmm. and to not bring certain games over to the same right. console as they as we found out today. And I would I still think that if and maybe my point even may hold more water now. If Sony wants exactly. Sony wants Starfield or the Indiana Jones game. Maybe Sony does have to give up something of its own. Like money. And, like money. Yeah, it's all, <laughs> all money. Like what it doesn't 
It's all money. Everything is right. money. If they, they thought those, they could make more the money. Equations, right? Yeah, like exactly. They know, like putting I mean, Starfield they're... on PS5 is not, it, it doesn't make sense for them monetarily for mm -hmm. whatever reason. Like it's more powerful to have that as a Game Pass exclusive and people check it out there or however tens of copies they they are going to sell from here on out. But yeah, the other thing was people really wanted to point it out because I used Horizon as my example. They're like, but Horizon sold so many copies. And I'm like, yes, Horizon sold a lot of copies when it came out in, what, 2016? That game is almost 10 years old. So I don't, I, I don't think that many people, maybe I'm wrong, if you showed me last month's sales of Horizon 1, I doubt they're particularly high. But you want them to put Horizon 1 on Xbox? Yeah, that was the game. That was my example last week. Like, what? Why not just put Horizon One on the Xbox? Because it, that's like part why? of their staple. Like that, yeah. you know, they have Sony's got a few like staple franchises, and sure, I'm sure they'll sell some. But like Ship said, they've done the calculations. They've decided I, I it's more saying, valuable sure can, yes, to have it as I, their staple of stars. <laughs> and at that price point, they can hit. Sure, but I could see that being. But I said as part of a negotiation. That's all I said. Is that I think it could be part of a negotiation, and it whatever it doesn't matter now because nothing happened. But uh, <laughs> I just stuck there on. I think you should leave reference in there, and it was fantastic. Thank oh, you. sorry, I missed it. I'm jacking off right now. Yeah. Um. Yes. So it's all money. 